Chapter 1 Adam, Sheth, Enosh, Kenan, Malalal, Jared, Hanak, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, Japheth. Sons of Japheth Gomar, Magog, and Madai, and Yoan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tyras. And the sons of Gomar, Askenaz, and Riphath, and Tograma. And the sons of Ion, Elisha, and Tarshisha, Kittim, and Rodanim. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mitzrayim, Put, and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Seba, Kinla, and Sabta, and Rama, and Sabtaka. And the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan. And Cush begot Nimrod. He became a great hero on the earth. And the Mitzrayim begot the Ludim, and the Anamim, and the Labim, and the Naphtukim, Pathrusim, and the Kaslukim, from whom proceeded the Philistine, and the Kaphtorim. And Canaan begat Zidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusai, and the Amari, and the Girgashai, and the Hivai, and the Archai, and the Sinai, and the Harvadai, and the Zamari, and the Hamathai. And the sons of Shem, Ilam, and Ashur, and Arphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and Auts, and Kul, and Gether, and Meshech. And Arphaxad begot Shelah, and Shelah begot Eber. And to Eber were born two sons, the name of the first Peleg, for in his days the earth was split in two, and the name of the other was Jackton. And Jackton begot Almodad, and Shalaf, and Hatsarmuth, and Jarak, and Hadoram, and Amzal, and Dikla, Ibal, and Abimal, and Sheba, and Alfir, and Havilah, and Jobab. All these are the Benai Jackton Shun, Arphaxad, Shela, Eber, Peleg, Reu, Shrug, Nahor, Tara, Abram, who is Abraham, the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael. These are the descendants of the firstborn Ishmael, Nebaioth, and Kedar, and Adbal, and Mibsam, Mishma, and Dana, Masa, Hadad, and Tima, Jetur, Nafish, and Kadma. These were the sons of Ishmael. And the sons of Keturah, the secondary wife of Abraham. She bore Zimran, and Jakshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And the sons of Jakshan, Aipha, and Afar, and Hanak, and Eldah. All these were sons of Keturah. Abraham also begot Isaac, the sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel. The sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Rawal, Jeush, and Jalam, and Korah. The sons of Eliphaz, Teman, and Almar, Ziphi, and Nathan, Kenez, and Timnah, and Amalek. The sons of Rawal, Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Miza, and the sons of Seir, Lotan, Shubal, Sabion, and Anna, and Rishan, and Atzer, and Dishan, and the sons of Lotan, Horai, and Homam, and Akuth, Lotan, Timna, the sons of Shubal, Elion, and Manhath, and Ibal, Shephi, and Anam and the sons of Sebion, Aiah, and Anna, the sons of Anna, Dishon, and the sons of Dishon, Hamram, and Ashban, and Ithran, and Karan, the sons of Atzer, Bilhan, 
and Zakan, and Jakan, the sons of Dishon, Auts, and Aran. And these are the kings who reigned in the country of Adam, before kings reigned in the land of Israel. Bela ben Baor, and the name of his city was Dinaba. When Bela died, Jobab reigned after him. Jobab was the son of Zarak of Basra. When Jobab died, then Horham, who came from the country of the Timonites, reigned after him. When Hosham died, Hadad ben Bedad, who defeated Midian on the plain of Moab, reigned after him, and the name of his city was Ivith. When Hadad died, Shamla from Maskera reigned after him. When Shamla died, Shaul from Rakoboth on the river reigned after him. When Shaul died, Balhanan ben Akbor reigned after him. When Baalhanan died, Hadad reigned after him, and the name of his city was Phai, and the name of his wife Hitabal, daughter of Matred, daughter of Mi Zahab. When Hadad died, they made chiefs in Edom Chief Timna, Chief Eliel, Chief Ithath, Chief Aholibama, Chief Allah, Chief Finan, Chief Kinan, Chief Taiman, Chief Mibzar, Chief Magdial, Chief Ayram. These were the chiefs of Edom. Chapter 2 These were the sons of Israel. Reuben, Shimeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, and Zebulon, Dan, Joseph, and Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Ashur. The sons of Judah, Aunan, and Shelah, the three born to him by Bathshua the Canaanitess. But the firstborn of Judah was bad in the sight of the Lord, and he caused him to die. Then Tamar his daughter-in-law bore Paraz and Zara to him. All the sons of Judah were five. Of the Benai Phares were Hatzron and Hamal, Zimri and Aitham and Hamion and Kalkol, Dara. All of them five. And of the sons of Carmi was Akar, the troubler of Israel, when he carried off the devoted property. And of the Benai Aethon, Azariah, and of the Benai Hatzron, who were born to him, were Irachmal, and Ram, and Kelubai. And Ram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab, Nakshon, a prince of the Benai Judah. And Nakshon begot Salma, and Salma begot Boaz, and Boaz begot Aubed, and Aubed begot Jeshai, and Jeshai begot his firstborn, Eliab, and Abinadab the second, and Shemiah the third, Nathanal the fourth, Radai the fifth, Atsam the sixth, David the seventh, and their sisters were Zeruiah and Abigail. And the sons of Zeruiah were three, Abishai, and Joab, and Ashabel. And Abigail bore Amasa, and the father of Amasa was Jether the Ishmaelite. And Caleb ben Zeruiah begot Azuba of his wife, Isha, and Jeriah. And Jasher, and Shobab, and Arden were also her sons. When Azuba died, Caleb married Aphra, and she bore him Hur. And Hur begot Arai, and Arai begot Betzalel. And after Hazron came to the daughter of Machir, the father of Gilad, and married her, when he was sixty years old, and she bore him Segub. And Segub begot Jair, who had twenty-three villages in the land of Gilad. But Geshur and Aram took the villages of Jair from them, with Kenath and its hamlets, sixty villages. All these were sons of Machir, father of Gilad. And after the death of Hosren, in Caleb Ephratha, the wife of Hezron, bore Ashkur, the father of Tekoa, to him. The sons of Jeramhal were, the firstborn, Hazron, Ram, Buna, and Arad, and Azam, and Achiah. There also was another wife of Jaramal, whose name was Atara. She was the mother of Anam. And the son of Ram, the firstborn of Jaramhal, Mats, and Jamin, 
and Aker. And these were the sons of Anam, Shemai, Jada. And the sons of Shemai, Nadab and Abishur. And the name of the wife of Abishur was Abikil, and she bore to him Aklaban and Molid. And the sons of Nadab were Salad and Hephini. But Salad died without children. And the sons of Aphini were Ishai, and the son of Ishai was Sheshan, and the son of Sheshan, Akli. And the sons of Jada, the brother of Shemai, were Jether and Jonathan. But Jether died childless. And the sons of Jonathan were Pheleth and Zoza. These were the sons of Jeramhal. But to Shishan there were no children except daughters. But Shishan had a Mitzurite slave whose name was Jarka, and Shishan gave his daughter to Jarka his slave for a wife, and she bore Aphai to him. And Aphai begot Nathan, and Nathan begot Zabar, and Zabar begot Aphlal, and Aphlal begot Aubed, and Aubed begot Jehava, and Jehava begot Azariah and Azariah begot Kaletz, and Kaletz begot Elisha, and Elisha begot Sisenai, and Sisenai begot Shalom, and Shalom begot Jachima, and Jachima begot Alishama. And the sons of Caleb, brother of Jerkamal, were Misha, his firstborn. He was the father of Ziph, and the son of Marsha, the father of Hebron. And the sons of Hebron, Korah, and Takfuk, and Rechem, and Ishama, And Ishama begot Rakam, the father of Jarkam. And Jarkam begat Shemai, and the son of Shemai was Maon, and Maon was the father of Beth-zur. And Ipha, the secondary wife of Caleb, bore Shaber, and Motza, and Gazaz, and Karan begot another Gazaz. And the sons of Jadai were Regem, and Jotham, Gishan, and Phelet, and Aita, and Shaf. Maka, a secondary wife of Caleb, bore Shaber, and Merkama. She also bore Shaf, the father of Madbanak, Shava, the father of Gibea, and the daughter of Caleb, Aksa. These were the sons of Caleb bin Hur, the firstborn Afratha, and Shobal, the father of Krithjarim, Shalim, the father of Bethlehem, Karef, the father of geth Gades, and Shobal, the founder of Krith jarim made other colonies, the ra Katsai, the Menukoth, and the clans in Krith jarim of the Jetharai, and Puthai, and Shumathai, and Mishari, from whom went out the Tsarathai, and the Ashtali. Shalma founded also Bethlehem, and then Netophathai, Atroth, Bethjoab, and the parts of the Manachthai, the Tsarathai, and the families of the writers who resided in Jabetz, the doorkeepers, the tutors, and the weavers, who were Kenites, who came from Hamath, a colony of the house of Rechab. Chapter 3 These, however, are the sons of David who were born to him in Hebron. The firstborn, Amon, by Ahinoam the Israelite the second Daniel by Abigail the Carmelith, the third Absalom the son of Maka, the daughter of Talmon king of Geshur, the fourth Adoniah the son of Haggith, the fifth Shephatiah by Abital, the sixth Ithram by Agla his wife. Six were born to him at Hebron, where he reigned seven years and six months, but in Jerusalem he reigned thirty-three years. And these were born to him in Jerusalem, Shamna, and Shobad, and Nathan, and Solomon, for by Bathshua the daughter of Bethaniel, and Ibkar, and Alishama, and Aliphalet, and Noga, and Nepheg, Japhiah, and Alishama, and Alida, and Aliphalot. 9. All these sons of David were born in Jerusalem, sons of secondary wives, as well as Tamar their sister. But the son of Solomon was Rehabam, his son Abiah, 
his son Asa, his son Jehoshaphat, his son Joram, his son Ahaziah, his son Joash, his son Amariah, his son Azariah, his son Jotham, his son Ahaz, his son Hezekiah, his son Manasseh, his son Amon, his son Josiah, and the sons of Josiah, the eldest, Jochanam, the second, Jehoiakim, the third, Zedekiah, the fourth, Shalom. And the sons Jehoiakim, Jeconiah, his son Zedekiah, and the son of Jeconiah, Aser, and his son, Shalathiel, and Malchirem, and Pediah, and Shenazer, Jeconiah, Hoshama, and Nedabiah. And the sons of Pediah were Zerubbabel and Shemar, and the sons of Zerubbabel, Meshulam and Hananiah, Shelemith was their sister, with Kashuba and Ahel, Barakiah, Kasadiah, Joshab, Kasad. 5. And the sons of Hananiah, Flatiah and Ishiah. The sons of Rephiah were Arkan, Abadiah, Shechaniah. And the sons of Shechaniah, Shemaiah. And the sons of Shemaiah, Katosh, and Egal, and Berechiah, and Neriah, and Shaphat. 6. And the sons of Shaphat, Nariah, Alzwaim, and Hezekiah, and Azrikam. 3. And the sons of Alzwaim, Hodaiah, and Alishab, and Phaliah, and Akab, and Jonathan, and Deliah, and Aani. 7. Chapter 4. The Sons of Judah. Pharez, Hazron, and Carmi, and Shobal, and Reiah ben Shobal begot Jakoth, and Jakoth begot Akhami, and Lakad. These are the clans of the Zarites. And these are the sons of Aitam, Israel, and Ishma, and Idbash. And the name of their sister was Zalel Falum, with Panal the founder of Gedor, and Azer the founder of Hosha. These were the colonies of Hur's firstborn. Ephratha was the founder of Bethlehem. And Ashkur the founder of Tekoa had two wives, Hala and Nara. And Nara bore to him Akurzan and Hefer, and Timonai and Akshurathal. These were the sons of Nara. But the sons of Halab, Zareth, Itzkar, and Athnan, and Kutz begot Anub, and Zababa, and the clan of Akarel ben Harum. But Jabez was more energetic than his brothers, and his mother called his name Jabez, for she said, I have borne him to my sorrow. The ruffian, however, relied on the God of Israel, and said, If you bless me and extend my border, and your hand goes with me, and you keep me from harm, I shall not be ruffled. And God granted what he asked. And Kelub, the brother of Shuka, begot Maklur. He was the father of Ashton. And Ashton founded the house of Rapha, and Fasa, and Tekniah, the founder of the city of Nakash. Those are the men of Reka. And the Benikenan were Othnial, and Shariah, and of the lower Othnial. And from Aunothai were begotten Afera, and Seraiah begot Joab, the founder of the lower Karoshim, for they are the Karoshim. And the sons of Caleb ben Jephunneh were Airu, Ala, and Nam. And the sons of Ala were Ala and Kenez. And the sons of Jalaliel, Ziph and Zipha, Tiria and Ashral. And the sons of Azra were Jether and Merad, and Afer, and Jalon, and Thar, and Ishak, the founder of Ashtamoah. 
Judea his wife bore Jared, the founder of Geder, and Keber, the founder of Shoko, Jekuthal, the founder of Zanuk. These were the sons of Bethiah, the daughter of Pharaoh, who married Merad. And the sons of the wife of Hodiah, the sister of Naham, the founder of Kila, of the Garanites, and Ashlamoah, of the Machathites. And the sons of Shimon were Amnon, and Rina, and ben Canaan and Tolan. And the sons of Ishai were Zokath and ben Zokath. The sons of Shilah were ben Jehodad, Ar, the founder of Lika and Lada, the founder of Marshab, and the clans of the houses of besh Abalath, the splendid house of Ashba, and the Jokim, and the princes of Kozna, and Joask, and Zaraph, who were masters in Moab, and resided in Lachem, according to old records. They were mechanists, and settled in colonies and municipalities. They settled there to work for the king. The sons of Shimeon, Nemual, and Jamin, Jarib, Zarak, Shual, his son Shalim, his son Mibsham, his son Mishma. And the sons of Mishma were Kamwal, his son of Zacher, his son Shemai. And Shemai had sixteen sons and six daughters, but his brother had not many sons, nor did the whole family increase like the sons of Judah. But they occupied Barsheba, and Molada, and Katsar Shual, and Bilaha, and Atsam, and Tolad, and Bathnal, and Karma, and Ziklag, and Beth Markaboth, and Katzer, and Susanai, and Beth Barai, and Sharam. These were their cities until the reign of David. And their towns were Aitam, and Ayin Rimon, and Tokom, and Ashan five towns, and all the villages around the cities whom they controlled, with their title deeds from the family registers, and records of restored estates, and successions and property of eldest sons, who were Joal, and Jehoah ben Joshabiah, ben Sariah ben Ashial, and Aliwanai, and Jakba, and Ishokiah, and Asiah, and Adial, and Isamal, and Benaiah, and Ziza ben Shephai ben Alon ben Jediah ben Shimri ben Shemaiah. These became princes by name in their clans, and extended the houses of their ancestors, when they emigrated to Geder in the eastern plain to seek pasture for their flocks, and found rich and good pasture, and a wide country ready for them, and quiet and peaceable, for the previous inhabitants there were blacks. So those mentioned by name, above, advanced in the days of Hezekiah king of Judah, and attacked their tents, and the wells that they found there, and succeeded them until this day, and settled in their place, for there was pasture for their flocks. Some of the descendants of Simeon, five hundred men, went from them to Mount Sair with Flatiah, and Nairiah, and Rephiah, and Azial ben Ishai was at their head, and attacked the remnant of the refugees of the Amalekites, and they reside there to this day. Chapter 5 Now for the Benai Reuben, the firstborn of Israel. For he was the firstborn, but because he defiled the bed of his father, his birthright was given to the Benai Joseph ben Israel. And he was not recorded as the eldest, but Judah dominated his brothers and became our leader, although the birthright belonged to Joseph. The Benai Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanok and Falwa, Hazron and Carmi, the Benai Joal, his son Shemaiah, his son Gog, his son Shemai, his son Micah, his son Reiah, his son Baal, his son Bariah, whom Tilgath Pilneser, king of Ashur, transported when he was prince of the Reubenites. Now for his brothers, by their clans, genealogies, and birth, chiefs, Jael, and Zechariah, and Bela ben Azaz, ben Shema, ben Joal. He occupied Arawer, and Nebo, and bel Amon, and eastward he occupied as far as the pass of the desert from the river Fraith, for they had many herds in the land of Gilad, and in the days of Saul they made war with the Hagarites, 
who fell beneath their power so they resided in their tents over all the extent of the east from gilad now for the benai gad next to them they occupied the country of bashan as far as salka joal was the chief and shapham his lieutenant who managed and governed in bashan and their relatives by their ancestral houses were michal and Mesholam, and sheba and jorai and jachan and ziah and aber seven these are the benai abakil ben horai ben jarok ben gilad ben michael ben jeshishai ben jokto ben zaz ben akai ben abdial ben gunai chiefs of their ancestral houses and they resided in gilad in bashan and its villages and in all the pastures of sharon as far as they extended all of them had birth registers in the days of jotham king of judah and in the days of jerobam king of israel the benai reuben and gad and the half-tribe of manasseh of brave men who bore shield and sword and drew the bow and were disciplined for war there were forty four thousand seven hundred and sixty who could go out to fight and they made war with the hagarites and etur and nafish and nodab and overpowered them and the hagarites were delivered to their hand with all their forces for they cried to god in the battle and he was helpful to them because they trusted on him so they captured from their herds fifty thousand camels and two hundred and fifty thousand sheep and of human beings a hundred thousand for many fell wounded for the battle was from god and they resided in their place until the transportation the sons of the half-tribe of manasseh also settled in bashan at baal hermon and senir and mount hermon they were numerous and these are the chiefs of their ancestral houses that is afer and ishai and alial and azrael and irmia and hodaviah and jokdial great princes powerful men named chiefs of ancestral houses but they revolted from the god of their fathers and wandered after the gods of the people of the country whom god had destroyed before them the god of israel consequently stirred up the temper of pool king of ashur and of tilgath pilneser king of ashur who transported the reubenites and gadites and the half tribe of manasseh and carried them to kalak and kabor and hara and to the river of gozan to this day the benai levi gershon kath and merari and the benai kath amram itzar and kabron and azial and the benai amram aaron and moses and miriam and the benai aaron nadab and abihua aliezar and athamar aliezar begot phinehas and phinehas begot abishua and abishua begot bukai and bukai begot azai and azai begot zerachiah and zerachiah begot mariath mariath begot amariah and amariah begot akitub and akitub begot zadok and zadok begot akimats and azariah begot jokanan and jokanan begot azariah who was priest in the house that solomon built at jerusalem and azariah begot amariah and amariah begot akaitub and akaitub begot zadok and zadok begot shalom and shalom begot kilkiah and kilkiah begot azariah and azariah begot seriah and seriah begot jehozadak and jehozadak was taken with the transports of the lord from judah and jerusalem by the hand of nebuchadnezzar chapter six the sons of levi gershom kath and merari and these are the names of the sons of gershom libni and shemia and the sons of kath amram and itzar and kabran and azial the sons of merari machil and mushi and these are the clans of levi by their ancestry from gershom his son libni his son jakath his son zima his son joach 
his son Ado, his son Zarak, his son Jothri, the Benai Kath, Aminadab, his son Korak, his son Asir, his son Alkana, his son Abisaph, and his son Asir, his son Thakath, his son Ariel, his son Aziah, his son Shaul, and the Benai Alkama, Amasi, Akimath, his son Alkana, his son Alkana, his son Yusuft, his son Yusufai, and his son Nakath, his son Aliab, his son Irokam, his son Alkana. Now the Benai Shamuel, Habkor, and Shenai, and Abiah, the sons of Merari, Makli, Libni, his son Shemai, his son Aza, his son Shama, his son Kagaya, his son Asaya. These were appointed by David over the choir of the house of the Lord when he fixed the ark, and they were with the singers before the tabernacle in the hall of assembly with the choir until Solomon built the house of the Lord in Jerusalem, and they attended to their duties in succession. These also attended with their descendants. From the Benai Kafi, Heman, the musician Ben Joal, Ben Shamwal, Ben Alkana, Ben Irkam, Ben Alial, Ben Thok, Ben Ziph, Alkana, Ben Makath, Ben Amasi, Ben Alkana, Ben Joal, Ben Azariah, Ben Zephaniah, Ben Thakath, Ben Asir, Ben Abisaph, Ben Korak, Ben Itzar, Ben Kath, Ben Levi, Ben Israel. And after him, Asaph was appointed at his right hand. Asaph ben Berechiah, ben Shemeah, ben Michal, ben Basiah, ben Malchiah, ben Athai, ben Zerach, ben Adiah, ben Ithan, ben Zima, ben Shemai, ben Jakath, ben Gershom, ben Levi. Then the Benai Merari, their brother on the left hand, Athan, ben Kishai, ben Aldai, ben Maluk, ben Kashabiah, ben Amaziah, ben Kilkiah, ben Amzi, ben Benai, ben Shamar, ben Makli, ben Mushi, ben Merari, ben Levi, with their relatives the Levites, attendants, and all the ministers of the tabernacle of the house of God, but Aaron and his descendants offered incense on the altar with the burnt offerings, and upon the altar of incense with all the ministrations of the sanctuary, and to expiate for Israel according to all that Moses the servant of God commanded. Now these were the Benai Aaron, his son Alazar, his son Phinehas, his son Abishua, his son Buki, his son Azi, his son Zerachiah, his son Meriah, his son Amariah, his son Akitub, his son Zadok, his son Akimatz. And these were their residences and castles in their borders. To the Benai Aaron, for the clan of the Kathites, for whom the lot came out, they gave Hebron in the land of Judah, with the pastures around it, with the town fields, but they gave the villages to Caleb ben Jephunneh. They also gave to the Benai Aaron, the cities of refuge, Hebron and Libna with their pastures, and Jatir and Ashtamoah with the pastures, and Helen with its pastures, and Debir with its pastures, and Ashan with its pastures, and Beth Shemesh with its pastures. And from the tribe of Benjamin, Geba with its pastures, and Alameth with its pastures, and Anathoth with its pastures. All the cities were thirteen cities, each city with its pastures. And to the others of the Benaikath, from the clans of the tribes, from the villages of the half-tribe of Manasseh, ten cities by lot. And to the Benaigersham, from the clans of the tribe of Issachar and the tribe of Ashur, and from the tribe of Naphtali, and from the tribe of Manasseh, in Bashan, thirteen cities.
to the Benai Merari, from the clans of the tribe of Reuben, and the tribe of Gad, and the tribe of Zebulon, twelve cities by lot. Thus the children of Israel gave the cities and their pastures. They also gave by lot, from the tribe of the children of Judah, and from the tribe of the children of Simeon, and from the tribe of the children of Benjamin, those cities mentioned by name. But some of the clans of the Benaikath had cities in the bounds of the tribe of Ephraim. They also gave to them these cities of refuge, Shechem with its pastures in Mount Ephraim, and Gebir with its pastures, Jokman with its pastures, and Bethhoron with its pastures, and Ailon with its pastures, and Beth Rimon with its pastures, and from the villages of the tribe of Manasseh, Aner and its pastures, and Bilam and its suburbs, to the other clans of the Benai Kath. To the Benai Gersham, from the clans of the half tribe of Manasseh, Golan in Bashan with its pastures, and Asheroth with its pastures, and from the tribe of Issachar, Kadesh and its pastures, and Dabroth and its pastures, and Remoth with its pastures, and Anam and its pastures. And from the tribe of Ashur, Mashal and its pastures, and Abdon and its pastures, and Kagok with its pastures, and Rechub with its pastures. And from the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Gilgal with its pastures, and Kamon and its pastures, Krithaim with its pastures. To the rest of the Benai Merari, from the tribe of Zebulun, Rimono and its pastures, Tabor and its pastures, and over the Jordan, Jericho on the east of Jordan, from the tribe of Reuben, Bezar in the desert and its pastures, and Jatza with its pastures, and Ketmoth and its pastures, and Miphath with its pastures. And from the tribe of Gad, Ramoth in Gilgal with its pastures, and Machaim with its pastures, and Heshbon with its pastures, and Jazer with its pastures. Chapter 7 But about the Benai Issachar, Tola and Phua, Jashub and Shimron, four, and the Benai Tola, Azai, Raphiah, and Irial, and Jachmi, and Ibsam, and Shamuel, chiefs of ancestral houses of Tola. They were great men in their generations. They numbered in the days of David twenty-two thousand and six hundred. And the Benai Azai, Israkiah, and the Benai Israkiah, Michal, and Abadiah, and Joel, Ishiah, Kimisha, all of them chiefs, who could go up by their genealogies to ancestral houses. Their disciplined army for war was thirty-six thousand, for they had many wives and children. Their relatives of all the clans of Issachar, the disciplined men, were eighty-seven thousand, all enrolled. Benjamin, Bela, and Becher, Jediael, three. And the Benai Bela, Asbon, and Azai, and Azial, and Iramoth, and Arai, five, chiefs of ancestral houses, powerful men, and their registered forces were twenty-two thousand and thirty-four. And the Benai Becher, Zemira, and Joash, and Aliazar, and Aliwanai, and Amri, and Iramoth, and Abiah, Anathoth, and Alameth. All these were Benai Becher, and registered by their generations, chiefs of ancestral houses, with disciplined men, twenty thousand two hundred. And the Benai Jediael, Bilan, and Bani, Bilhan, Jaish, and Benjamin, and Aliad, and Kanana, and Zitham, and Tharshish, Akihishakar. All these of the Benai Jediael were ancestral chiefs, with disciplined men, seventeen thousand and two hundred, able to march with the army to battle, beside the Shupites and Kupites, the followers of Ayr, and the knights who followed Aker. The Benai Naphtali, Jekazial, and Gunai, and Jatzer, and Shalom, sons of Bilah. The Benai Manasseh, Azriel, whom his secondary wife bore, 
the Aramith bore Machir, the founder of Gilad. And Machir married women from the Cupites and the Shupites. And the name of his wife was Maka. And the name of his second son was Zolofkad. And Zolofkad had beautiful daughters. But Maka, the wife of Machir, bore a son, and called his name Feresh, and his brother's name was Sheresh, and his sons Aulam and Rakem. And the sons of Aulam were Bedan. These were the sons of Gilad, ben Machir, ben Manasseh. And his sister Hamulaketh bore Aishur, and Abiazer, and Makla. And the sons of Shemida were Achaion, and Shechem, and Liki, and Abayam. Now the Benai Ephraim, Shothalak, and his son Bered, and his son Thakoth, and his son Alada, and his son Thakoth, and his son Zabad, and his sons Shothalak, and Azar, and Alad. But the men of Gath, natives of the country, killed them when they went down to steal their cattle. And Ephraim, their father, mourned for them many days, but his friends came to him to comfort him. Then he went to his wife, and she bore a son, and he called his name Bariah, because suffering had come to his house. And he had a daughter, Shara, who founded Bethhoron the lower, and the higher, and Azan Shara. Rephak was his son, and Resheph, and his son Thelak, and his son Thakan, with his son Adon, and his son Amihad, his son Elishama, his son Khan, his son Jehoshua. And they possessed and settled Bethel and its hamlets, and to the east Naran and Marab, Gezer and its hamlets, and Shechem and its hamlets, to Aza and its hamlets. And at the side of the Benai Manasseh, Bathshan and its hamlets, and Anak and its hamlets, Megiddo and its hamlets, Dod and its hamlets, the Benai Joseph ben Israel resided in these. The Benai Ashur, Imna, and Ishva, and Ishvi, and Beriah, and Sarah their sister. And the Benai Beriah, Heber, and Malchiah, he was the founder of Birsavith. And Heber begot Japhlet, and Shamer, and Kotham, and Shua their sister. And the sons of Japhlet, Phasak, and Bimalal, and Ashua, these were the children of Japhlat, and the sons of Shamar, Akai, Ruga, Ikuba, and Aram, and of the Benai Helem, his brother Zophak, and Imna, and Shelish, and Amal, the sons of Zophak, Suk, Carnifer, and Shual, and Beri, and Imra, Betzer, and Hud, and Shama, and Shilshak, and Ithran, and Bara, and the sons of Ithar, Jephima, and Fisva, and Ara, and the sons of Allah, Arak, and Kaniel, and Bitsia. All these were of the Benai Ashur, chiefs of ancestral houses, illustrious great men, princely chiefs with pedigrees, with a number of twenty-six thousand men for war and battle. The end of chapters one through seven. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapter eight. Now Benjamin begot Bela, his firstborn, Ashbal the second, and Akara the third, Nokba the fourth, and Repha the fifth. And Bela had sons, Adar, and Nira, and Abihud, and Abishua, and Naman, and Akok, and Gera, and Shafufan, and Koram. These are a few descendants. Those of them who are ancestral chiefs to the settlers in Geba, whom they emigrated with to Makath, when Naman, and Akukam, and Gera emigrated together. He also begot Azza, and Ahikud. He also begot mulattoes in the plain of Moab, from imported Cushites, and from his barbarian wives. So he begot from Kodesh, his wife, Jobab, Zibiah, and Misha, and Malcham. 
javats and shabia and mirma these sons of his were ancestral chiefs and from the cushites he begot abitub and alphal and the sons of alphal were aber and misham and shanar he founded auno and lod and its hamlets and beriah and shana were the ancestral chiefs of the settlers in ilon whence they expelled the settlers from gath and achio and shashak and iramoth zebediah and arad and adar and michal and ishva and joka were sons of beriah and zebediah and meshalum and hezekiah and keber and ishmerai and isliah and jobab were sons of alphal and jachim and zikri and zabdi and aliam and zilthi and aliel and adiah and beriah and shimrath were sons of shimi and ishphan and aber and aliel and abdon and zikri and canaan and cananiah and elan and anthothiah and iphthaiah and phineal were sons of sheshach and shamsherai and shachariah and athaliah and jarshiah and aliah and zikri were sons of jerocham these were ancestral chiefs chiefs to their descendants they resided in jerusalem but in gibeon resided benai gibeon and the name of his wife was makkah and his firstborn son was abdon then zur and kish and baal and nadab and geder and akio and zakur and mikloth who begat shaniah and they resided in jerusalem beside their relatives and ner begot kish and kish begot shaul and shaul begot jonathan and abinadab and ashbal and the son of jonathan was meribal and meribal begot micah and the sons of micah were phethon and melech and tara and achaz and achaz begot jehoiada and jehoiada begot alamath and osmavith and zimri and zimri begot mozza and mozza begot bina his son was repha his son alasha his son atzal and Atzal had six sons, and these are their names, Azrikam, his firstborn, and Ishmael, and Shariah, and Abadiah, and Canaan. All these were the sons of Atzal. And the sons of Ashk, his brother, were Aulam, his firstborn Jabash the second, Eliphalat the third. And the sons of Aulam became men of great distinction for skill with the bow and he had many sons and a hundred and fifty grandchildren all these were of the benai benjamin chapter nine for all israel were registered and the books can be consulted amongst the records of the kings of israel judah however was transported to babel for its transgressions but the former settlers who possessed those cities of israel were the priests the levites and their attendants but in jerusalem some of the benai judah settled and some of the benai benjamin and some of the tribe of ephraim and manasseh althai ben amihud ben amri ben imri ben benjamin ben perez ben judah and of the shilonites ashiah the firstborn and his sons and from the benai zerak javal and his companions six hundred and ninety and from the benai benjamin salna ben meshulam ben hodaviah ben asua and ibniah ben jerocham and allah ben azai ben makrai and meshulam ben shephatiah ben ranal ben ibniah and of their genealogical relatives nine hundred and fifty six all these men were chiefs of ancestral houses from their fathers and from the priests jediah jehoiada and jachin and azariah ben hilkiah ben shalom ben zadok ben Merioth, ben ahitub near the house of god and adiah ben jerocham ben shafur ben malchiah and shemai 
ben adial ben jachzariah ben shalom ben meshilamath ben amer and of their companions chiefs of ancestral houses one thousand seven hundred and sixty men able to conduct the services of the house of god and from the levites shemaiah ben kashub ben azrakam ben kashabiah of the benai merari and bakbakar kerish and galal and mathaniah ben micah ben zikri ben asaph and abadiah ben shemaiah ben galal ben jeduthem and barakiah ben asa ben Alkana, who settled in the villages of the netophathi with the doorkeepers shalom akub and talman and achaiman and their companions shalom was their chief and they were settled at the east of the king's gate they were the guards for the camps of the levites and shalom ben korah ben abisath ben korak and his companions of his ancestral house of the koreites were to superintend the execution of the service they guarded the thresholds of the hall for their ancestors had been over the camp of the lord as guards of the entry and phinehas ben eliezer was prince over them before the lord zechariah ben meshilamiah was door opener at the hall of assembly all of them were chosen as gatekeepers to the number of two hundred and twelve in their family villages they were appointed by david and samuel to attend to their duties and they and their descendants are attendants at the door of the house of the lord as they were at the house of the tent as guards they were at the gates on the four sides the east the west the north and the south and their relatives came from their villages for periods of seven days in their turns along with them but the levites who were the four chiefs of the gates officially superintended the lodgings and the treasury of the house of god and lodged all who came up for duty and they were at the opening services from morning to evening they also had to attend to the vessels for they brought them in by number and returned back by number and others of them were officers over the furniture and over the sacred vessels and over the flour and wine and oil and incense and spices but some from the descendants of the priests prepared the confection of spices and mathathiah of the levites who was the first-born to korak was appointed over the bakers but others from the descendants of kaf with their relatives superintended to the showbread to arrange it sabbath by sabbath and these are the ancestral chiefs of the levite singers exempt from duty in the sanctuaries for they were at work day and night they are the ancestral chiefs chiefs according to their pedigrees who resided in jerusalem and in gibeon resided the benai gibeon janal and the name of his wife was maka and his first-born son was abdon and zur and ner and nadab and gedor and akayo and zechariah and mikloth and mikloth begat shimam and they settled in jerusalem near their relatives and ner begot kish and kish begot shaul and shaul begot jehonathan and Melchishua, and abinadab and ashbal and the sons of jonathan were meribal and meribal begot micah and the sons of micah were pithan and melech and tokra and akaz who begot jarab and jarab begot alameth and osmaveth and zimri and zimri begot matzah and matzah begot benaiah rephiah his son alasa his son atzal his son and atzal had six sons and these are their names azrikaim his firstborn and ishmael and shariah and abadiah and kamai these are the sons of atzal chapter ten the philishtim were at war with israel and the men of israel fled before the philishtim and fell defeated on the hills of gilboa where the philishtim pressed on after saul and after his sons and the philishtim had slain jonathan and abinadab and milkishua the sons of saul so the battle was heavy upon saul and the archers opposed him with their bows and he was wounded by the archers saul consequently said to his squire draw your sword and stab me with it 
for these blackguards are coming and will insult me but his squire was not willing for he was terribly afraid saul therefore took the sword and fell upon it when the squire saw saul was dead he also fell on his sword and died thus saul and his three sons with all his house died at one time when all the men of israel who were on the plain saw how they fled and that saul and his sons were dead they abandoned their villages and fled and the philishtim advanced and occupied them but morning arrived and the philishtim came to strip the wounded and found saul and his sons fallen on mount gilboa so they stripped him and took off his head and his armour and sent them round to the country of the philishtim to exhibit them to their idols and people they also placed his arms in the house of their gods and fixed his head on the house of dagon but the forces occupying jabesh gilad heard of all that the philishtim had done to saul so they arose every man of the army and carried off the body of saul and the bodies of his sons and brought them to jabesh and buried their bones under the oak in jabesh then they fasted seven days thus saul died in the transgression that he transgressed against the lord about the command of the lord which he did not obey and also for going to inquire of a spirit raiser instead of going to the lord thus he was killed and the kingship transferred to david the son of jesai chapter eleven the forces of israel ultimately collected to david at hebron and said we are your bones and your flesh in the past also while saul existed as king you led out and brought back israel and your ever-living god said to you you shall shepherd my people israel and you shall be prince over my people israel then all the parliament of israel came to the king at hebron and made a treaty with david at hebron before the lord and elected david as king over israel as the lord had promised by the means of samuel david and the army of israel then marched to jerusalem it was jebus and the jebusites the natives of the country were there and the inhabitants of jebus said you cannot get in here yet david captured the fortress of zion now the city of david and david proclaimed whoever first defeats the jebusites shall be the chief governor and joab ben zeruiah advanced and became the chief but david settled in the fortress therefore it was called the city of david he also walled it around from miloah and to its circuit but joab was governor of the city thus david advanced and was great for the lord of hosts was with him now these are the leading generals who were with david who joined themselves with him to confirm him with the forces of israel in his kingship over israel as the lord had promised they are copied from the roll of generals who were with david joshabam the son of a hackmanite was the chief of the staff officers he extended his spear over three hundred slain in one action and next to him alazur ben dodo the hakukite he was a general of the staff he was with david at pastamim where the philishtim advanced to battle there and a portion of the field was filled with barley and the force fled before the philishtim but they were rallied in the middle of that plot and he defended it and defeated the philishtim and the lord won a great victory these three went down from the chief's staff officers in discontent to david when in the cave of adullam and when a troop of the philishtim was encamped in the vale of rephaim while david was in a trap for the philishtim then garrisoned bethlehem david however was parched with thirst and asked who will get me a drink of water from the well of bethlehem that by the gate so the three broke through the camp of the philishtim and drew water from the well which is by the gate of bethlehem and lifted it up and brought to david then david was not willing to drink it but poured it out to the ever-living and exclaimed may i be cursed by my god if i do this is the blood of those men should i drink in their lives for they went with their lives and i am not inclined to drink them 
these three heroes did that and abishai the brother of joab was a general of the staff he extended his spear over three hundred slain but he was not equal to the three his rank was on the second staff he was their commander but he was not one of the three benaiah ben jehoiada was the son of a brave man of kabzal he defeated the two champions of moab he also went down and killed a lion in the middle of a pit on a snowy day he also defeated the egyptian leader a man of five cubits high when the egyptian had a spear in his hand like a weaver's beam but he went at him with a club and wrenched the spear from the hand of the egyptian and slew him with his own spear benaiah ben jehoiada did this so he ranked with the heroes of the staff he ranked with the staff officers but did not attain to the three but david appointed him over his council and the generals of the army were ashahel the brother of joab alcanan ben dodo of bethlehem shamoth the hararite kaletz the pelonite ira ben akosh the tekuite abiezer the anephathite sibkai the hushathite ally the akokai marai the natophathite keled ben bana the natophathai Athai ben babai from gibath of the benai benjamin benaiah the perothani korai of malai gash abial the aribathite asmuth the bacramite alekheba the shalbani the sons of hashem the geizanite jonathan ben shaga the hararite achaim ben sakar the hararite eliphal ben aur kafer the macarathite achiah the pelonite ketsro the carmelite narai ben abzai joal the brother of nathan nubkar ben hagrai zelek the ammonite nakri the barathite the armor-bearer of joab ben zeruiah ara the ithrite gareb the ithrite ariah the hittite zabad ben akli adina ben shiza the reubenite chief of the reubenites and he went with the thirty canaan ben maka and Joshaphat the Mithnite, Aziah the Ashrathite, Shama, Javal the sons of Kotham, the Ararite, Jediahel ben Shimri, and Joka his brother, the Thitzite, Eliel the Machavite, and Irabai, and Joshuiah the sons of Alnam, and Ithma the Moabite, Eliel and Aubed, Jeshiel the Metzobite chapter twelve and these came to david at ziklag while he was shut out from the favour of saul ben kish and they were among the hard fighters in battle they could draw the bow with both right and left hand in slinging stones or in shooting arrows they were from benjamin tribesmen of saul the commanders were achiezer and joash sons of shemaiah the gibeonite and isual and phelet sons of asmuth and Baraka and Aliah the Anathathite, and Ishmaiah the Gibeonite, a general in the thirty, and who commanded the thirty, Jeremiah and Jacaziel and Jacanan and Jozebad the Garathite, Alnazai and Jeremoth and Beliah and Shemariah and Shephatiah the Karathite, Alkanah and Ishiah and Azarel and Japazer, Jashabam and Joala and Zebediah sons of jerocham from gedor and from the gadites there deserted to david when in hiding in the desert brave men princes of war in battle trained to the shield and spear and their faces were faces of lions and they were swift as gazelles on the hills their commander was azer abadiah the second aliab the third mishmana the fourth iramiah the fifth atu the sixth alial the seventh jocanan the eighth alsabad the ninth eremiho the tenth macabani the eleventh there were officers in the army from the benai gad the least over a hundred the greatest over a thousand these were the men who crossed the jordan in the first month when it was flooded over all its banks and routed the whole of the dalesmen both on the east and west 
Some also came to David from the Benai Benjamin and Judah when in hiding, and David came out to meet them, and he addressed and said to them, If you come for peace and come to me to help me, my heart is ready to unite with you. But if to betray me to my oppressor when there is no wrong in my hand, the God of our fathers will see it and punish it. Then passion clothed Amasai, commander of the staff. We are yours, David, and with you, son of Jesai. Peace, peace to you and to your friends, for your God helps you. David then accepted them and made them captains of troops. Some also deserted from Manasseh to David when he marched with the Philistim to fight against Saul. But they did not help, for upon consultation the lords of the Philistim sent him away, remarking, He will desert with our heads to his master Saul. When he marched to Ziklag, there deserted to him from Manasseh, Adina, and Jozebad, and Ediel, and Michal, Jozebad, and Elihua, and Zilthai, colonels of regiments that came from Manasseh, and they helped David with their troops, for they were all brave men, and they became generals in the army. From day to day also others came to help him, until there was a great army, like a divine army. And these are from the records of the generals of division of the army, who came to David at Hebron to transfer the kingship of Saul to him, as the ever-living commanded. With the princes of the Benai Judah, carrying shield and spear, six thousand eight hundred, disciplined for war. From the Benai Simeon, brave men of war, seven thousand one hundred. From the Benai Levi, four thousand six hundred. And Jehoiada the prince of the descendants from Aaron, and with him, three thousand and seven hundred. And Zadok a young brave man, and the officers of his father's family, twenty-two. And from the Benai Benjamin, the tribe of Saul, three thousand. For until then the majority kept their duty to the house of Saul from the Benai Ephraim, twenty thousand and eight hundred brave men of fame in their ancestral houses, and from the half-tribe of Manasseh, eighteen thousand who were specified by their names to go to the election of David to the kingship, and from the Benai Issachar, of persons who understood the requirements of the times, what was best for Israel to do, two hundred, and all their tribe were at their command. From Zebulun there came an army disciplined for war with all the equipments for battle, fifty thousand disciplined and unwavering. And from Naphtali a thousand officers, and with them twenty-seven thousand shields and spearmen. And from the Danites equipped for battle, twenty-eight thousand six hundred. And from Asher there arrived an army equipped for battle of forty thousand. And over from the Jordan from the Reubenites and Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh, with all the military equipments for battle, a hundred and twenty thousand. All these were drilled soldiers, perfectly disciplined to their hearts, who came to Hebron to elect David to the kingship over all Israel, and also all the rest of Israel were of one heart to elect David to the kingship, and were there with David for three days, eating and drinking with their friends. Their connections also from as far off as Issachar, and Zebulun, and Naphtali, brought bread on asses, and camels, and mules, with cattle, with corn, meal, dried figs, raisins, and wine, and oil, and bullocks, and sheep in abundance, for all Israel was glad. Chapter 13 David afterwards consulted with the generals, and captains, and all the princes, and then David said to the Parliament of Israel, If it seems good to you, and pleasing to our ever-living God, send to our brothers, the remainder of our brothers, in all the districts of Israel, and with them to the priests and Levites in the suburbs of their cities, let them collect to us, and we will seek the ark of our ever-living God, for that has not been attended to in the days of Saul. And all the Parliament replied, let that be done, for the thing was right in the sight of all the people. David consequently convoked the representatives of all Israel from the river of Mitzer to the pass of Hamath to bring the ark of God from Kirith-Jarim. 
Then David and the representatives of Israel went up to the corporation of Krithjarim, which is in Judah, to bring up the ark of God, the Lord dwelling with the cherubim who are represented there, and carried the ark of God upon a new wagon from the house of Abinadab. And Azza and Achio the priests were in the wagon, while David and the representatives of Israel rejoiced with all their power before God with harps and lutes and drums and timbrels and trumpets and advanced as far as kidden's barn where azza extended his hand to support the ark for the oxen were restive but the anger of the lord burnt against azza so he struck him because he had extended his hand upon the ark so he died there before god david however was angry that the lord had broken azza so he called that place Azaz's breach, as it is till today. David also feared God from that day, and said, The ark of God shall not come to me. So David did not transfer the ark to the city of David, but placed it in the house of Abed Adam, an officer in his palace, and the ark of God remained in the house of Abed Adam three months. But the Lord blessed the family of Abed Adam, and all who were with him. Chapter 14 Hiram king of Sur afterwards sent ambassadors to David, and cedar timber, and masons, and carpenters, to build him a palace. Then David knew that the ever-living had fixed him as king over Israel. David also took more wives in Jerusalem, and David begot more sons and daughters, and these are the names of those who were born to him in Jerusalem. Shamua, and Shobab, Nathan, Solomon, Ibkar, and Alishua, and Alaphalet, and Noga, and Nepheg, and Japhiah, and Elishama, and Belida, Alaphalet. But the Philistim heard that David enjoyed the kingship over all Israel, so the Philistim forces came up to seek David, but David heard it, and went out to meet them. Then the Philistim spread over the plain of Rephaim. Therefore David inquired of God to ask, Shall I advance against the Philistim, and will you give them into my hand? And the ever-living replied to him, Advance, and I will give them into your hand. They accordingly advanced to Balfratzim, and there David defeated them. So David exclaimed, God has crushed my enemies by my hand like a splash of water. Therefore he called the name of that place Baal-Pratzim, for they left their gods there, whom David commanded to be burnt in fire. But the Philistim collected again, and invaded the plain, when David again inquired of God, and God replied to him, Do not advance on their van, retreat from them, then march on them from behind the willow wood, and when you hear the sound of a movement in the tops of the willows, then advance to battle, for the divine messengers will advance before you to defeat the forces of the Philistim. David consequently did as God commanded, and defeated the forces of the Philistim from Gibeon as far as Gazer. Consequently, the fame of David went out to all countries, and the ever living put a terror of him upon all the heathen. The end of chapters 8 through 14. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapter 15 He afterwards made himself houses in the city of David, and formed a place for the ark of God, and erected a tent for it. David, however, said, None should carry the ark of God except the Levites, for the Lord chose them to carry the ark and to attend to it forever. Consequently David convoked the parliament of Israel, at Jerusalem, to bring up the ark of God to the place he had constructed for it. David also assembled the descendants of Aaron and the Levites, with Ariel the singer, and a hundred and twenty of his brothers of the Benai Kath, and Ashiah the singer, and a hundred and twenty of his brothers of the Benai Merari, and Joal the singer, and a hundred and thirty of his brothers of the Benai Gersham and Shemaiah the singer with two hundred of his brothers of the Benai Elazaphan, and Eliel the singer with eighty of his brothers of the Benai Kabarai, 
and Aminadab the singer, with a hundred and twelve of his brothers of the Benai Azial. David also invited Zadok and Abiathar the priests, and the Levites, with Ariel, Asiah, and Joel, Shemaiah, and Aliel, and Aminadab, and said to them, You are the ancestral chiefs of the Levites. Sanctify yourselves and your associates, and bring up the ark of the ever-living God of Israel to the structure for it. Because when you were not preceding it, the Lord our God broke us, for you ought rightly to precede it. The priests and Levites consequently sanctified themselves for bringing up the ark of the ever-living God of Israel, and the Levites carried the ark of God as Moses ordered, according to the command of the ever-living on their shoulders by the poles attached to it. David also requested the chiefs of the Levites to provide their associates, the singers, with musical instruments, lutes and harps and resounding gongs, and to arouse a sound of rejoicing. The Levites therefore appointed Heman ben Joal, and from his associates Asaph ben Berechiah, and from the Benai Merari their relatives Ithen ben Koshiah, and with them from the second rank Zechariah ben Jazial, and Shemiramoth, and Jehiel, and Anai, Eliab, and Haniah, and Messiah, and Mattathiah, and Eliphilehu, and Michniah, and Abed Adam, and Jael the doorkeepers. So the singers, Heman, Asaph, and Ithan, with gongs of brass to sound, and Zechariah, and Aziel, and Shemiramoth, and Jechiel, and Anai, and Eliab, and Messiah, and Benaiah with lutes, accompanied the maidens, and Mattathiah, and Aliphalhu, and Michniah, and Abed Adam, and Jael, and Azizahu, with harps, high-pitched to perfection. And Kenanihu, the chief of the Levites, superintended the carrying from stage to stage, because he understood it. And Berechiah and Alkanah were guards for the ark, and Shebaniah, and Joshaphat, and Nethanal, and Amasai, and Zechariah, and Benihu, and Eleazar the trumpeters. Priests with trumpets sounded before the ark of God, and Abed Adam and Jechiah were guards of the ark. But David and the senators of Israel with the generals marched with the progress of the ark of the covenant of God from the house of Abed Adam rejoicing. And when the Levites lifted up the ark of the covenant of God to bear it, they sacrificed seven bullocks and seven rams. And David, clothed in a white robe, with all the Levites who carried the ark, and the singers, and Cananiah the leader, led the singers, in union with David, in a white ephod. All Israel also cheered with a loud voice at the advance of the ark of the covenants of the ever-living, and sounded trumpets and drums, and resounding cymbals, with lutes and harps. But when the ark of the covenant of the ever-living came to the city of David, and Michal the daughter of Saul looked out of the window and saw King David dancing and sporting, she despised him in her heart. Chapter 16 Thus they brought the ark of the ever-living, and deposited it in the centre of the hall which David had constructed for it, and presented burnt and thank offerings before God. When David had ceased from offering the burnt and thank offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the ever-living. Then he distributed to every Israelite person, both men and women, a loaf of bread and a plum cake. He afterwards appointed some of the Levites to serve before the ark of the ever-living, and to care for it, and to give praise, and to honor the ever-living God of Israel. Asaph was their chief, and his secondaries were Zechariah, Jazal, and Shemiramoth, and Ikael, and Mattathiah, Eliab, and Benaiah, and Abed Adam, and Jael with instruments, lutes, and harps, and Asaph with resounding cymbals. Then Benaiah and Joxial the priests stood with trumpets before the ark of the covenant of God. On that day also David first ordained to give thanks to the Lord by the means of Asaph and his associates. Sing to the Lord, call on his name, proclaim his works among the nations, sing to him, sing psalms to him, reflect on all his wonders. 
in his holy name rejoice glad-hearted seek the lord be strong and follow the lord seek always for his presence remember the wonders done his proofs and the laws he made you race of israel his servant you sons of jacob his chosen he is our ever-living god his laws are for all the earth he always remembers his treaty for a thousand lives his word which he for our fathers wrote and which he to isaac swore and fixed the decree to jacob a lasting bond with israel to say i give you the land to possess the borders of canaan when you were few in number but few and strangers there when you wandered from tribe to tribe in the kingdom of foreign peoples he allowed them not to oppress but punished kings for your sakes dare not to touch my anointed and do my preachers no harm sing to the lord all the land and daily proclaim his trust to the nation proclaim his glory his wonders to all the peoples for the lord is great and grand and his splendor beyond all gods for the pagan gods are idols but the lord created the heavens before him are honor and splendor in his dwelling are power and joy proclaim the lord you clans of the people proclaim the lord is majestic and strong proclaim that the lord is majestic exalt his name with an offering and come and bow down before him to the lord in his holy splendor all the earth revolves before him who fixed its unerring sphere let the skies proclaim to the earth tell the heathen the lord is king let the sea roar and all its products the fields rejoice and all therein while the trees of the wood are cheering before the lord who advances to establish justice on earth o oh, praise the lord for his goodness for his mercy endures forever and exclaim our god will save us save collect and free from the heathen to honor your holy name and exalt ourselves by your praises thank israel's living god from ever and on to forever amen and thanks to the lord in this manner he left asaph and his companions to sing before the ark of the covenant of the ever-living to sing always from day to day with abed adam and sixty-eight of his associates but abed adam ben jeduthun and hosa were the doorkeepers zadok and his relatives were priests before the tabernacle of the ever-living at the mound in gibeon to offer burnt offerings to the ever-living on the high altar at daybreak and dusk and for all written in the laws of the lord which he communicated to israel and haman and jeduthun were with them besides selected persons who were nominated to praise the ever-living for his eternal mercy while haman and jeduthun accompanied with trumpets and resounding gongs and musical instruments to god with the sons of jeduthun as attendants then all the parliament of the people returned each to his own home when david proceeded to bless his own house chapter seventeen but when david was settled in his own house david said to nathan the preacher see i am residing in a palace of cedar but the ark of the covenant of the ever-living is under curtains when nathan replied to david do whatever is in your heart for god is with you but when it was night a message from god came to nathan to say go and say to david my servant thus says the ever-living you shall not build me a permanent house for i have not rested in a house from the day when i brought israel up from the mitzrayim to this day but i have gone from tent to tent and tabernacle whenever i marched with all israel have i spoken a word to one of the judges of israel whom i commanded to shepherd my people asking why have you not built me a palace of cedar therefore now say this to my servant david thus says the lord of hosts i took you from the pastures from following the sheep to be a leader over my people of israel 
and I have been with you wherever you went, and have defeated all your enemies before you, and have made you famous equal to the renown of the great on the earth. I am also preparing a place for my people of Israel, and am planting it to dwell under itself, and it shall never shake, and the sons of evil shall not continue to injure it as formerly, from the days when I ordered the appointment of judges over my people of Israel. I will also subject all your enemies, and I tell you further, the ever-living will build your house, and when your days are filled to go to your fathers, I will establish an heir after you, who shall be from your own sons, and fix him in his kingship. He shall build me a house, and I will fix his throne forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me, and I will not turn my affection away from him, as I turned it from him who was before you. For I will appoint him in my house, and in my kingdom for eternity, and his throne shall be constructed for eternity. Nathan related all these promises and all this vision to David. King David consequently went and sat before the Lord, and said, Who am I, ever-living God, and what is my house that you have brought me so far? But God, that was little in your eyes, for you have promised to your servant's house for the future, and have looked upon me as exalted above mankind. Ever-living God, what has David ever added to you that you should honor your servant? for you know your servant. Ever-living, according to your own heart, you have done all these great things for your servant. Lord, there is none like you. There is no God except yourself, from all we have heard with our ears. And who is like your people of Israel, a singular people in the earth whom God went to redeem for himself? a people to bear your great and terrible name, which advanced before your people, whom you redeemed from the heathen Mitzrayim, and have made Israel your people for ever, and you ever living have been a God to them. But now, Lord, the promise that you have promised to your servant and to his house, let it be firm for ever, and do according to your promise. Yes, let it be firm, and enlarge your name for ever, by the declaration that the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, is the God for Israel, and that the house of David your servant is fixed before you for ever. For you, Lord, have revealed it to your servant, that you will build him a house, and therefore let your servant find his heart to pray before you. For you are the ever-living God who has promised this benefit to your servant, as now you have been pleased to bless the house of your servant to continue before you forever. So you, the ever-living, have blessed, and will bless it forever. Chapter 18 it was subsequently to this that David defeated the Philistim, and subdued them, and captured Gath and its villages from the hands of the Philistim. He then defeated Moab, and the Moabites became subjects of David, paying a tribute. David afterwards defeated Hadadezer, king of Zobah, as he marched to establish his power beyond the river Fraith. When David captured from him a thousand chariots and seven thousand horsemen, and twenty thousand infantry. But David destroyed all the chariots, only reserving a hundred chariots from them. But the Aramai of Damascus came to assist Hadadezer, king of Zobah, when David slew twenty-two thousand in Aram. David afterwards settled Damascus Aram, and Aram became subject to David, paying a tribute. Thus the Lord gave David victory wherever he went. David, however, took the shields of gold which the guards of Hadadezer carried and brought them to Jerusalem. And from Tibkath and Khan, cities of Hadadezer, David took a very great quantity of brass, of which Solomon made the brazen sea, and the columns and instruments of brass. When Thaw, the king of Hamath, heard that David had defeated all the forces of Hadadezer, king of Zobah, he sent Hadaram his son to king David to wish him health, and to congratulate him about how he had conquered Hadadezer and defeated all his men. Tha had been at war with Hadadezer, and he sent vessels of gold, silver, and brass. 
These also King David dedicated to the Lord, with the silver and gold which was paid by all the nations, by Edom, and Moab, and the Benai Ammon, and from the Philistim, and from the Amalekites. Abishai ben Zeruiah also defeated eighteen thousand of Edom in the Salt Vale. He then put garrisons in Edom, and all Edom became subject to David, and the Lord gave David victory wherever he went. So David reigned over all Israel, and brought justice and right to all the people. Joab ben Zeruiah commanded the army, and Jehoshaphat ben Achilud was secretary of state, and Zadok ben Akitub and Abimelech ben Abiathar were priests, and Shansha secretary, and Benaiah ben Jehoiada was over the guards and light infantry, and the sons of David were the princes at the side of the king. Chapter 19 It was after this that Nakash, king of the Benai Ammon, died, and his son reigned after him. So David said, I will show friendship to Hanun the son of Nakash, for his father showed friendship to me. David consequently sent ambassadors to console him about his father. David's officers accordingly went to the country of the Benai Ammon to Hanun to console him. But the princes of the Benai Ammon said to Hanun, Does David honor your father in your sight that he sends you presents? <sighs> Have not his officers come to you with the object of examining and inspecting and surveying the country? Consequently, Hanun seized David's officers and shaved them and cut off their robes halfway up their buttocks and sent them away. So they sent and informed David about those persons, and he sent to meet them, for they had been grievously outraged. Therefore the king commanded, Stay at Jericho until your beards are grown. When the Benai Ammon, however, saw that they had insulted David, Hanun sent a thousand talents of silver to hire for himself chariots and cavalry from Aram tween rivers, and from Aram of the plain, and from the Zobah, and hired with them thirty-two thousand charioteers, and the king of the plain and his forces, and advanced and encamped before Medeba, where the Benai Ammon were collected from their towns. From there they advanced to the war. But David heard it, and sent Joab and the generals of the army. The Benai Ammon then drew out for battle opposite the city, with the kings who had come to help them, separately in the open field. Joab consequently perceived that a double battle was before him, on his front and rear. He therefore selected all the Israelite soldiers, and disposed them to meet Aram, and put the rest of the forces into the hands of his brother Abishai, whom he ordered to meet the Benai Ammon, and said, If the Aramites are too strong for me, come and help me to defeat them. But if the Benai Ammon are too strong for you, I will rescue you. Be bold and resolute for our people, and for the city of our God, and let the Lord do what is best in his sight. Then Joab and the force that was with him advanced to the front of the Aramites to fight, and they fled before him. And when the Benai Ammon saw that Aram fled, they also ran from the face of Abishai his brother, and entered the city. Joab afterwards returned to Jerusalem. But Aram, seeing that they had been defeated by Israel, sent ambassadors who went to Aram over the river, and hired the general of Hadadezer to help them. But this was reported to David, so he collected the forces of Israel, and passed over the Jordan, and advanced against them, when they arrayed against him, and David disposed his army to meet Aram in battle, and they fought with him. But Aram fled before Israel, and David slew seven thousand charioteers, and forty thousand infantry, and killed Shophek the commander of their army. But when the officers of Hadadezer saw that they were worsted by Israel, they made peace with David, and were subject to him. And the Aramites were unwilling to assist the Benai Ammon again. Chapter 20 When the period of the year came round, the season for generals to march out, Joab led out the strength of the army and ravaged the country of the Benai Ammon. Then he went and besieged Rabbah. But David stayed in Jerusalem, so Joab assaulted Rabbah and stormed it. Then David took the turban which was of the value of a talent of gold from off the king's head. 
There was also a precious stone in it, and it was placed on the head of David. They also brought very much plunder from the city, and brought out the people who were in it, and appointed them to the mines, and to the ironworks and saw pits. David did the same to all the cities of the Benai Ammon. David then returned to Jerusalem. It was after this that a battle occurred near Gezar with the Philistim, when Sibkai the Cushatai defeated Siphai of the race of the Repha. There was war again with the Philistim, when Elkanan ben Jar slew Lachumai, the brother of Goliath of Gath, whose spear was like a weaver's beam. There was again war with Gath, and a man came out from there, a giant, whose fingers and toes were six and six, twenty-four, and he was of the race of the Repha, and he challenged Israel. But Jehonathan ben Shemaiah, the brother of David, defeated him. These were born of the Repha at Gath, but they fell by the hand of David, or by the hand of his officers. Chapter 21 Then Satan arose against Israel, and incited David to make a conscription of Israel. So David said to Joab and the generals of the forces, Go, conscript Israel from Beersheba to Dan, then come to me that I may know the number. But Joab replied, May the Lord add to his people that they may become a hundredfold. Are they not all your royal majesties, your majesty's servants? So why does his majesty desire this? May not Israel be offended at this? Yet the command of the king prevailed over Joab. So Joab went out and traveled to every part of Israel, and returned to Jerusalem, where Joab reported the number of the forces, and rolled for David. And the forces of Israel were one million one hundred thousand men, disciplined to arms. And of Judah, four hundred and seventy thousand men, disciplined to arms. But Levi and Benjamin were not enrolled amongst them, for Joab was disgusted at the command of the king. This command also was wrong in the sight of God, so he struck Israel. Then David said to God, I sinned greatly when I did that thing, but now I pray you to pass over the fault of your servant, for I have been very foolish. The Lord therefore spoke to Gad, David's seer, and said, Go to David and announce, Thus says the ever-living, I will present three things to you. Choose one from them, and I will do it for you. Gad consequently went to David, and said to him, Thus says the ever-living, Choose for yourself, either three years of famine, or three years of flight before your assailants, and the sword of your triumphant enemies, or three days of the sword of the Lord, with a plague in the country, and the messenger of the Lord exterminating the forces of Israel. Reflect, therefore, on the answer I am to return to my sender. And David replied to Gad, It is very difficult for me. I would rather fall into the hand of the ever-living, for his mercies are many, but I would not fall into the hand of man. The Lord therefore sent a plague to Israel, and seventy thousand of Israel fell. The Lord also sent the divine messenger to Jerusalem to afflict it. But as he was about to afflict it, the Lord looked and had pity over the flock, and said to the messenger, You have punished enough, now restrain your hand. But the messenger of the Lord stood opposite the granary of Arnon the Jebusite. And David lifted his eyes and saw the messenger of the Lord standing between the earth and the skies, with his sword drawn in his hand, stretched out over Jerusalem. And David and his counselors, clothed in sackcloth, fell on their faces, and David said to God, Was it not I alone who commanded to conscript for the forces? I am the one who has sinned and have committed the wrong. But these sheep... What have they done? Ever-living God, let your hand, I beg, be upon me, and do not afflict your people. So the messenger of the ever-living commanded Gad to order David to go up and raise an altar to the ever-living at the granary of Arnon the Jebusite. David consequently went there at the command of Gad, which he uttered in the name of the Lord. 
Arnon also turned and saw the king, and he and his four sons who were with him hid themselves, for Arnon was thrashing wheat. But David advanced to Arnon, when Arnon peeped and saw David, so came out from the granary and bowed to David, inclining his face towards the earth. David then asked Arnon, Will you sell me the site of the granary? For I wish to build an altar to the ever-living. You shall sell it to me for full money value, so that the affliction may be removed from the forces. But Arnon replied to David, Take it for yourself, and let my lord the king do what is fair in his opinion. Look, I also give the bullocks for burnt offerings, and the wood of the thrashing machine, and the wheat as a bread gift. I will give the whole. King David, however, answered to Arnon, No, but I will purchase it for full money value, for I will not offer your property to the ever-living, and thus sacrifice a costless sacrifice. So David paid Arnon for the place, six hundred gold shekels as the price. Then David built an altar there, and offered a burnt offering and a thank offering, and called on the ever-living, who answered by fire from the skies, to the altar of the burnt offering. Then the Lord commanded the messenger, and he returned his sword to its sheath. David saw at that time that the ever-living had answered him at the granary of Arnon the Jebusite, when he sacrificed there. For the tabernacle of the ever-living which Moses made in the wilderness, and the altar for burnt offering, were at that period at the mound of Gibeon. David, however, could not go before it to inquire of God, for he was startled at the presence of the sword of the messenger of the Lord. Chapter 22 Consequently David exclaimed, This shall be a house for the ever-living! and this shall be an altar of burnt offering for Israel. Therefore David commanded to conscript the aborigines who were in Israel, and made them stone-cutters to cut squared stones to build a temple to God. David also prepared a quantity of iron for the nails of the doors of the gates and the joinings, and bronze without weight, beside cedar timber beyond count, for the Zidonians and Syrians brought cedar wood in large quantity to David. For David said, Solomon my son is young and weak, and the temple that is to be built to the ever-living must be great, high, and renowned, and the wonder of the lands. I will prepare now for him. Therefore David prepared before his death. He also conversed with his son Solomon, and instructed him in the plan to build the temple to the ever-living God of Israel. David also said to his son Solomon, I had it in my heart to build a temple to the name of the ever-living God myself, but there came to me a message from the ever-living to say, You have shed much blood upon the earth, and have made great wars. You shall not build a temple to my name, for you have shed much blood upon the earth before me. However, there is your child. He will be a man of peace, and I will make quiet for him from all his enemies around." Therefore his name shall be Solomon, and I will make peace and security over Israel in his days. He shall build a temple to my name, and he shall be a son to me, and I will be a father to him, and I will fix the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. Now, my son, may God be with you forever and make you prosper, that you may build the temple of your ever-living God as he promised about you, Yes, may the ever-living give you intelligence and understanding and instruct you about Israel. Guard also the laws of your ever-living God. You will then prosper if you guard the institutions and decrees that the ever-living communicated to Moses for Israel. Be bold and brave, fear not, and be not depressed. For see how in my difficulties I have prepared for the house of the ever-living a hundred thousand talents of gold, a million talents of silver. I have no weights, however, of the brass and iron, but they are plentiful. I have also provided cedar timber and stones, and you can add to them. And you have with you plenty of workmen for the work." masons and mechanics in stone and wood, and they are all skillful at every work. 
and for the gold and silver and brass and iron it is boundless. Rise and act, and may the ever-living be with you. David also ordered all the nobles of Israel to assist his son Solomon. Is not your ever-living God with you? And he will cause rest all round you, for he has given the populations of the land to my hand, and the land is subdued before the ever-living and before his people. Therefore give your hearts and minds to seek your ever-living God, and rise and build the sanctuary of your ever-living God, and bring the ark of the covenant of the ever-living, and the sacred vessels of God, to the temple that will be built to the name of the ever-living. The end of chapters 15 through 22. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapter 23. But David grew old and satiated with days, so he crowned Solomon his son over Israel, when all the princes of Israel assembled with the priests and Levites. Then the Levites were numbered from thirty years old and upwards, and the number of men on their registers was thirty-eight thousand. Twenty-four thousand of these were appointed over the works of the temple of the ever-living, and six thousand as superintendents and overseers, with four thousand as guards, and four thousand praised the ever-living with instruments that were made for praise. But David divided them into divisions. Of the Benai Levi, the Benai Gersham, Kaf, and Merari. Of the Gershamites, Zalon and Shemai. Of the Benai Ladan, the head was Jachial, with Zitham and Joal as officers. Of the Benai Shemai, Shelemoth and Kazael, and Karan as officers. Those were the heads of the ancestral houses of Shemai. There were also of the Benai Shemai, Jakath, Zina, Jeash, and Beriah. These four were of the Benai Shemai, but Jakath was the head, and Zina the second, and Jeash and Beriah had not many sons, so they were as an ancestral house registered on one. The Benai Kath, Amram, Itzar, Kabron, Azael, four. The Benai Amram, Aaron and Moses, but Aaron was separated to sanctification. He and his sons were strictly consecrated forever to offer incense before the ever-living, and to serve him, and to bless in his name forever. The sons of Moses, the man of God, however, were enumerated with the tribe of Levi. The sons of Moses were Gershom and Eliezer. Of the sons of Gershom, Shebual was the chief. And the sons of Eleazar were Rechabiah the chief, and Eleazar had no other sons. But the sons of Rechabiah were too many to recount. Of the sons of Itzar, Shalomith was the chief. Of the sons of Cabron, Jerihu was the chief, Amariah the second, Jacaziel the third, and Jachmas the fourth. Of the sons of Aziel, Micah was the chief, and Ishiah the second. Of the sons of Merari were Makli and Mushi. The sons of Makli were Alazar and Kish. But Alazar died and had no sons, only daughters, and their cousins the son of Kish married them. The sons of Mushai were three, Maklai and Adar and Jermoth. These were the ancestral houses of the Benai Levi, according to the entries in the record of the names on their registers. They administered the affairs of the services of the house of the ever-living, on arriving at twenty years old and upwards. For, David said, the ever-living God of Israel will bring comfort to his people of Israel, and they will dwell in Jerusalem for ever. So the Levites will not be needed to carry the tabernacles and all the instruments of his services. Therefore, by the last commands of David, the Benai Levi from twenty years old and upwards were registered. Their station was to assist the Benai Aaron in the services of the house of the ever-living, in the courts and in the chambers, and in the purificatories for all the sacred things, and to do the work of the house of God, 
and about the showbread, and fine flour for the food offering, both of the unfermented biscuits and food offering, and about the confections, and all the liquids, and the vestments, and also to stand from morning to morning to thank and praise the ever-living, and the same at dusk, and in all the burnt offerings burnt to the ever-living on the days of rest, and the new moons, and to record the festivals according to the decree laid upon them, to be continually in the presence of the ever-living. They also formed the guards of the hall of assembly, and the guards of the sanctuary, and the guards of the Benai Aaron, their relatives, when serving in the house of the ever-living. Chapter 24 Now for the arrangements for the Benai Aaron. The sons of Aaron were Nadab and Abihua, Eleazar and Athamar. But Nadab and Abihua died before their father, and had no sons, Therefore Eleazar and Ithamar were priests. But David arranged that from the Benai Eleazar, Zadok, and from the Benai Ithamar, Achimelech should be appointed for the services. But more of the Benai Eleazar were advanced to be men of power than from the Benai Ithamar. Consequently there were assigned to the Benai Eleazar, as heads of houses, sixteen, and to the Benai Ithamar, as heads of houses, eight. They were, however, assigned by lots, one with another, so that there were princes of the sanctuary, and princes of God, both from the Benai Eleazar and the Benai Ithamar. And Shemaiah ben Nathanael the secretary recorded them from among the Levites in the presence of the king and his officers, and of Zadok the priest, and Achimelech ben Abiathar. And for the ancestral princes of the priests and Levites, one ancestral house was taken from Eleazar, and one taken from Ithamar, when the first lot came out to Jehoiarib, the second to Jediah, the third to Karim, the fourth to Sarim, the fifth to Malachiah, the sixth to Shishai, the seventh to Akots, the eighth to Abiah, the ninth to Jeshua, the tenth to Shekaniah, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Jachim, the thirteenth to Kufa, the fourteenth to Jeshabab, the fifteenth to Bilga, the sixteenth to Shisha, the seventeenth to Kazir, the eighteenth to Hafitzitz, the nineteenth to Phethiah, the twentieth to Ixakel, the twenty-first to Jakim, the twenty-second to Gamul, the twenty-third to Deliah, the twenty-fourth to Maziah. These were appointed to be their duties to enter the house of the Lord, as instructed by the hand of their ancestor Aaron, as he was instructed by the ever-living God of Israel, but to the others of the Benai Levi, from the Benai Amram, Shubal, from the Benai Shubal, Jakdaiah, from Rechabiah, from the Benai Rechabiah, the chief Ishiah, from the Itzarites, Shalomith, from the Benai Shalomith, Jakath, of the Benai Jeriah, Emariah was second, Jachzial the third, Jechamam the fourth. From the Benai Azael, Micah. From the Benai Micah, Shamor. With the brother of Micah, Ishiah. From the sons of Ishiah, Zechariah. From the Benai Merari, Makli and Mushi. From the sons of Jeziah, his son. From the Benai Merari also were Jeziah. Beno, and Sham, and Zakur, and Abri. From the Malites, Alazoth, who had no sons. From Kish, of the Benai Kish, Arachmal. From the Benai Mushi, Makli, and Adar, and Jeremoth. These were from the Benai Levi, by ancestral houses, who also threw their dice along with their relatives of the Benai Aaron, before King David, and Zadok, and Achimelech, and the ancestral chiefs for the priests, and with the ancestral chiefs for the Levites, along with their lower relatives. Chapter 25 David and the generals of the army selected also some of the sons of Asaph, and Haman, and Jeduthun the reciters, with harps, lutes, and cymbals, and a certain number of men to perform regularly. From the sons of Asaph, Zakur, and Joseph, and Nethaniah, and Asherala, 
sons of Asaph, who were under the hand of Asaph, the reciter, in the presence of the king. From the sons of Jeduthun, Jeduthun, Gediah, and Sari, and Ishaihu, Kashabihu, and Netithiah, six under the hand of their father Jeduthun, to recite thanks and praise to the ever-living with the lute. From the sons of Haman, Haman, Bakaihu, Mathaniah, Aziah, Shabual, and Jeremoth, Kananiah, Kananai, Eliatha, Gedalthai, and Ramamthai, Azar, Jashbaksha, Malathai, Hothir, Makazayoth, who were all sons of Haman, the king's seer, in discourse with God. They played the horn. For God had given Haman fourteen sons and three daughters. All of them were under the hand of their father to sing in the house of the ever-living with cymbals, lutes, and harps for the service of the house of God. Asaph and Jeduthun and Haman were under the control of the king. The whole number of the trained singers to the ever-living with their associates was two hundred and eighty-eight. They also threw lots for their mutual offices, whether small or great, both the teachers and the scholars. But the first lot came out for Asaph and Joseph, the second for Gedaliah, for him and his companions, for his sons were twelve, the third for Zikur and his twelve sons and companions, the fourth for Itzri and his twelve sons and companions, the fifth for Nathanihu and his twelve sons and companions, the sixth to Bakaihu and his twelve sons and companions, the seventh to Isarala and his twelve sons and companions, the eighth to Jeshihu and his twelve sons and companions, the ninth to Nethanihu and his twelve sons and companions, the tenth to Asari and his twelve sons and companions, the eleventh to Azaral and his twelve sons and companions, the twelfth to Kashabiah and his twelve sons and companions, the thirteenth to Shubal and his twelve sons and companions, the fourteenth to Mattathihu and his twelve sons and companions, the fifteenth to Iramoth and his twelve sons and companions, the sixteenth to Kenanihu and his twelve sons and companions, the seventeenth to Jeshbakasha and his twelve sons and companions, the eighteenth to Kenanai and his twelve sons and companions, the nineteenth to Malathai and his twelve sons and companions, the twentieth to Eliatha and his twelve sons and companions, the twenty-first to Hothir and his twelve sons and companions, the twenty-second to Gedaliah and his twelve sons and companions, the twenty-third to Makazioth and his twelve sons and companions, and the twenty-fourth to Azer and his twelve sons and companions. Chapter 26 The choristers were under Mesha, Lamihu, Ben Korah from the Ben Asaph, and of the sons of Mashalamihu, Zechariahu was the elder, Idial the second, Zebedaihu the third, and Ithniel the fourth, Ilam the fifth, Jekohanan the sixth, Alirani the seventh. Abd Adam had sons, Shemaiah the eldest, Jozebad the second, Joach the third, and Zachar the fourth, and Nethanol the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Falthai the eighth, for God blessed him. Sons were also born to Shemaiah his son, who ranked as with the ancestral houses, for they were great and powerful. The Benai Shemaiah, Athnai, and Rephal, and Aubed, and Abzabad, his brothers were brave men, Alihu and Semekaihu. All these were from the Benai Abd Adam, and from Meshelamihu, sons and relatives, there were eighteen powerful men. And from Hosa of the Benai Merari, there were sons, Shimrai the chief, for although he was not the firstborn, yet his father put him as first, Kilkaihu the second, Tebalaihu the third, Zacharihu the fourth, all sons or brothers of Hosa were thirteen. 
with these were the officers of the gates as superintendents of the strong assistance to help their associates who served in the house of the ever-living and lots were thrown for the lowest to the highest positions in their ancestral houses for each of the gates and the lot for the east fell to shelemihu and zacharihu then they threw the dice for his son zacharihu a wise statesman and his die came out for the north for the south abed adam and the treasuries for his sons for the west gate where is the descent from the cliff by the stairs was for the shutim and hosa to keep in alternation on the eastward were six levites on the north four daily on the south four daily and for the treasuries by two and two toward the west four and two at the pathway to the precinct these were the appointments for the doorkeepers from the benai korak and the benai merari but their relatives of the levites were over the treasuries of the house of god and the sacred treasures from the benai ladan benai gershom from the ancestral chiefs of the ladan gershoms jakalai the sons of jakalai were zitham and joal his brother appointed over the treasuries of the house of the lord from the Amram Itzarai, Kalranai, and Azialai, and Shobal, the descendant of Gershom ben Moses, was chief treasurer. But his relatives, the descendants of Eleazar, by Rechabihu his son, and Ishaihu his son, and Joram his son, and Zikri his son, and Shalometh their descendants. Shalometh and his brother were over the consecrated treasures which were consecrated by King David, and the ancestral chiefs which the generals and officers of the army had consecrated out of the prize money and out of their plunder to help towards the house of the ever living. With all that had been consecrated by Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner ben Ner, and Joab ben Zeruiah had consecrated, was under the hand of Shalometh and his brother from the itzari kananihu and his sons were appointed for the exterior affairs over israel in the magistracy and in judicial matters from the kalroni kashabiah and for his assistance one thousand seven hundred skilful men were appointed in israel from beyond jordan to the west for all the affairs of the ever-living and the affairs of the king jeriah was the chief of the cabronites according to the ancestral genealogies which were examined in the fortieth year of king david's reign who discovered them to be powerful people at jazir in gilad his relatives also were powerful people a thousand seven hundred heads of families so king david appointed them over the reubenites gadites and the half tribe of manasseh for all the affairs of god and affairs of the king chapter twenty seven but the number of the children of israel who attended to the king with their ancestral chiefs as officers of regiments and companies to control them the whole arranged in divisions that came and went month by month for each month of the year each single division was twenty four thousand joshaban ben zabdial commanded the first division for the first month and his division was twenty four thousand the chief of all the officers of the soldiers of the first month came from the benai Ferez. dodai the akokite commanded the division for the second month with his division and princely staff and there were twenty four thousand in his division the commander of the third army for the third month was benaihu ben jehoiada the chief priest with twenty four thousand in his division benaihu was of the thirty heroes and commanded the thirty Amizabad his son was also in his division. The fourth, for the fourth month, was Ashahel, the brother of Joab, and Zebadiah his son succeeded him. His division comprised twenty four thousand. The fifth, for the fifth month, was Shamuth, Ishrakli, and his division comprised twenty four thousand. The sixth, for the sixth month, was Ira ben Akash, the Tekoite and his divisions comprised twenty-four thousand. The seventh for the seventh month, Kilati, of the guides of the Benai Ephraim, and his division comprised twenty-four thousand. The eighth for the eighth month was Sibkai, the Cushathai, from the east, and his division comprised twenty-four thousand. 
the ninth for the ninth month was abiazer the anaphathi from the benjamins and his division comprised twenty four thousand the tenth for the tenth month was marai the netophathi from the east and his division comprised twenty four thousand the eleventh for the eleventh month was benaiah the parothani of the benai ephraim and his division comprised twenty four thousand and the twelfth for the twelfth month was Kaldai, son of Othniel the Netophathi, and his division comprised twenty four thousand. The prince of the Reubenites was Eleazar ben Kikrai of the Simeonites, Shephatihu ben Maka. Of the Levites, Kashabiah ben Ramual, with Zadok for the Aaronites. Of Judah, Elihu from the brothers of David. Of Issachar, Amri ben Michal of zebulun ishmaihu ben abadihu of maphtali jeremoth ben azrael of the ephraim hosha ben azazihu of the half tribe of manasseh joel ben padihu of the half tribe of manasseh in gilad edo ben zechariahu of benjamin joshial ben abner of dan azarel ben jerochem those were the princes of the tribes of Israel. For David did not raise by the conscription from twenty years of age and upwards for the troops, although the ever-living had promised to increase Israel like the stars of the skies. Joab ben Zeruiah did begin to conscript, but did not finish. But because of that there was anger against Israel. Therefore the conscription was never recorded among the events of times of King David. Asmuth ben Adial was superintendent of the royal treasuries. Jehonathan ben Azihu was superintendent of the stores in the country, in the towns, in the villages, and fortresses. And Azrai ben Kelub was superintendent over the works in the country and cultivators of the ground. Shemai the Ramathai was superintendent of the vineyards and olive yards, with Zabdi the Shiphamai for the wine stores. Balkanan the Gedari was superintendent of the olive yards and the sycamore groves that were on the slopes, with Joash over the oil stores. Shitrai the Sharonai was superintendent of the flocks pastured in Sharon, with Shafut ben Adalai over the herds in the plain. Aubil the Ishmaelite was superintendent of the camels, with Jedihu the Maranathai over the asses. Jaziz the Hagarai was superintendent of the flocks, all these were controllers of the property that David possessed. Jehonathan, the uncle of David, was prime minister. He was a man of understanding and a scholar. And Ikial ben Hakmanai was tutor of the king's sons. But Akitophel was the king's privy counselor, and Hushai the archite was the king's friend. And after Akitophel were Jehoiada ben Beniaihu and Abiatha, while Joab was commander of the army. Chapter 28 David assembled all the officers of Israel, the chiefs of tribes, and the generals of the divisions in the king's service, with the colonels of regiments and captains of companies, and the officers of all the king's cattle, and his own sons with their attendants, and staff officers, and all the powerful men, to Jerusalem. Then King David stood up on his feet and said, Listen to me, my friends and my people, I had in my heart to build a house of rest for the ark of the covenant of the ever-living, and as a stool for the feet of our God, and I had prepared to build it. But God said to me, You shall not build a house to my name, for you have been a man of war and have shed blood. Yet the ever-living God of Israel chose me from all my father's family to be king over Israel forever." for he chose Judah to lead, and in the house of Judah he chose the house of my father, and from the sons of my father he was pleased to cause me to be crowned over all Israel, and of all my sons, for the ever-living has given me many sons. He has chosen Solomon, my son, to sit upon the throne of the kingship from the ever-living over Israel, and said to me, Your son Solomon shall build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him for myself as a son, and I will be a father to him. I will also found his kingship forever, if he is firm to guard my instructions and decrees as he does at present. 
so now in the sight of all israel the congregation of the ever-living and in the hearing of our god preserve and examine all the commands of your ever-living god so that you may possess this beautiful country and transmit it to your children after you forever and you solomon my son recognize the god of your father and serve him with a willing heart and delighted mind for the ever-living examines all hearts and all the ideas devised by the mind if you seek him you will find him but if you abandon him he will fling you off forever therefore reflect for the ever-living has chosen you to build a house and sanctuary be brave and do it then david gave to solomon his son the plans for the portico with its buildings and stores and staircases and the private chambers and the house of the mercy seat with the drawings of all that was in his mind for the courts of the house of the ever-living with all the lodges around and the treasuries of the house of god and the treasuries for the sacred things with the courses for the priests and levites and all who conduct the services of the house of the ever-living as well as for all the furniture of the house of the ever-living with gold by weight for all the golden vessels of the service and silver by weight for all vessels of the services for every kind of service and a weight of gold for the lampstand and golden reflectors weighed for lamp by lamp and reflector by reflector with a weight of silver for each lamp and its reflector to be used lamp by lamp with a weight of gold for the tables of showbread table by table and silver for the tables of silver and for the hooks and basins of pure gold and for the golden expiatories by weight expiatory by expiatory and for silver expiatories by weight expiatory by expiatory and for the altar of incense refined gold by weight with gold for the construction of the carriage of the overshadowing cherubim who protected the ark of the covenant of the ever-living the whole are described i have described them from having the hand of the ever-living upon me causing me to understand all the results of these plans then david said to solomon his son be brave and bold and fear not nor be depressed for the ever-living god my god will be with you he will not leave nor abandon you until the completion of all the works and labors for the house of the ever-living and here are the courses for the priests and levites and for all the services of the house of god besides you have with you for every work every kind of skilled intelligence and all kinds of operatives and the nobles of the people will support you in everything chapter twenty nine king david also said to all the meeting the one god has chosen solomon my son for himself but he is a youth and tender and the business is great for the effort is not for man but for the living god however i have prepared with all my power for the house of god gold for the golden and silver for the silvern and brass for the brazen iron for the iron and timber for the wooden onyx stones for setting and variegated marble and all kinds of precious stones and plenty of white marble and since i have delighted in the house of my god i have by me a private store of gold and silver which i give to the house of my god in addition to all i have provided for the holy house three thousand talents of gold of the refined gold of alfer and seven thousand talents of pure refined silver to overlay the walls of the buildings the gold for gilding and the silver for silverling and for any wages paid to the workmen and whoever has a will for the business let him hand himself to the ever-living to-day then the ancestral chiefs and the chiefs of the tribes of israel and the colonels and captains of companies and chiefs of the royal affairs gave to the works for the house of the ever-living five thousand talents of gold and ten thousand derricks and ten thousand talents of silver and eighteen thousand talents of brass and one hundred thousand talents of iron 
while those who possessed jewels gave them to the treasury of the house of the ever-living into the custody of Jachiel their Gershonai. So the people were glad on account of their contributions, for they contributed with a willing heart to the ever-living, and King David also rejoiced with great delight. Then David blessed the ever-living in the sight of all the meeting, and David exclaimed, Blessed be you, the ever-living, the God of our father Israel, from eternity to eternity. With you, Lord, is greatness and power and beauty and splendor and glory. For all the heavens and the earth are yours, Lord, the government and exaltation and headship of all. Therefore, our God, we all thank you and praise your majestic name. For who am I, and who are my people, that we are able freely to give like this? For all comes from you. To you we only give your own. For we are only travelers before you, and lodgers as all our fathers were. Our days are like a shadow on the earth, and are without hope. Lord our God, all this wealth that is given to build a house to your name as your sanctuary was from your hand and is all yours. As I know, my God, that you refine the heart and delight in uprightness, I in trueness of heart have given all this. And now I have seen your people here give gladly to you, Lord, the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Oh, keep them forever, and fix in the people's minds their thoughts upon you, and give to my son Solomon a heart to regard your commands, your proofs, and decrees, to work and build this temple as I have prepared. Then David said to all the assembly, Bless now your ever-living God. And all the meeting blessed the ever-living God of their fathers, and lowered their heads, and reverenced to the ever-living and the king. They then afterwards sacrificed sacrifices to the ever-living, and burned burnt offerings to the ever-living, with food offerings on that day, a thousand bullocks, a thousand rams, a thousand lambs with their drink offerings, with numerous sacrifices from all Israel and ate and drank before the ever-living on that day with great delight. They also again elected Solomon the son of David king for the second time, and consecrated him to the ever-living as leader, and Zadok as priest. Solomon consequently sat on the throne of the Lord as king, in place of his father David, and the parliament of Israel obeyed him, with all the nobles and generals, and the sons of David placed their hands under Solomon as king. The ever-living afterwards greatly exalted Solomon in the eyes of all Israel, and gave him honor and majesty such as had not been upon any king before him in Israel. Thus David ben Jesai reigned over all Israel. He was king over all Israel for a period of forty years, reigning in Hebron for seven years, and reigning in Jerusalem thirty-three years. Then he died with good gray hairs, and satiated with days, wealth, and honor. And Solomon his son reigned after him. The achievements of King David from first to last can be seen recorded in the history of Samuel the seer, and in the history of Nathan the reciter, and in the history of Gad the preacher, as well as all his kingship and heroism and vicissitudes that passed over him and over Israel and over all the kingdoms of the countries. The End of the First Book of the Chronicles Recording by Mark Penfold